but worldwide. KA Imaging says their dual energy X-ray removes bones from the image, which then allows technicians to see more of the lungs without the rib cage in the way. So it means they can better see the virus before it worsens and in turn allow patients to get better treatment sooner. The portable Reveal X-ray machine just received Health Canada approval this week and the company is currently conducting trials in partnership with the University Health Network in Toronto. This is pretty big. City News reporter Janella Massa joins us live now with more on this technology and just how much of a game changer this could be. Good morning to you Janella. Hi, good morning, Melanie. We're outside of the uh, assessment center here at Michael Guerin, a big lineup here. Now, uh, if you get admitted to hospital for COVID-19, x-rays are one of the tools they use to help diagnose uh, the virus and, and kind of how far and progressed the virus is. As you mentioned, though, um, the reveal removes the bones from the image, so the rib cage uh, from the image, and you can get a clearer picture of the lungs. As you said, that's important because, uh, you know, once you're Eight, you know, one of the only ways that technicians uh, use traditional x-rays to see the virus is when it's at a more advanced stage. That's the only time that they can see it very clearly. So seeing it uh, better sooner means getting better treatment sooner. But the other important piece is that it helps limit the number of COVID-19 patients that get sent for CT scans. Now, CT offers a 3D image versus a 2D image from an x-ray. So it's obviously better, but it's more expensive for hospitals. There are long wait times, as we know, and every time a COVID-19 patient uses a CT scan, uh, it causes a delay because they now have to take time to clean the machine in between and uh, they could be having a vulnerable patient uh, coming to use it after, for example, a cancer patient. So uh, this uh, helps kind of uh, streamline that and, and keep more patients away from the CT scans, Melanie. Mentioned here, Janella, uh, Health Canada. Um, it's just got approved here just this week, so this is all very new. Uh, but for us here in Canada, it, this is not the end of the road here. There could be more international possibilities as well. That's right. It's also FDA approved, so it can be sold in the U.S. Um, but importantly, in some developing countries, they actually don't use uh, swabs to test for COVID-19. It's just too expensive or they don't have the capabilities. And chest x-rays are the only way that they diagnose COVID-19. So obviously, having a better image, um, you know, could be a game changer for some of those developing countries. Now, I should note that this dual image technology isn't uh, actually new, but no one has been able to do it in a single image before and what's uh, unique about this is that it's also portable and I spoke to uh, one of the research team about that. It's very unique because it's the only device in the world today that as Amal said can do portable dual energy and, and, and that makes it unique because all the existing devices could not and that's the reason why they never were able to take off. Um, even though dual energy has been known for 30 years it has never become a mainstream technology. So what we've done, just like uh, Kodak did, as Amal said, um, with the black and white film going to color and now everybody uses color, we are that company for X-ray. So yes, because it's portable, that means it can be uh, done bedside and that means it could be used in uh, makeshift hospitals, it could be taken into long-term care homes. And again, it means that those patients don't have to be transported over to CT scans and come in contact with much more people. Now, as you mentioned, uh, they are doing a trial uh, with UHN. Uh, they're actually testing it on pneumonia and lung cancer patients. And I'll have more on that tonight on City News at 5 and 6. Janella, appreciate that. And while you are there, so again, you're standing in front of Michael Guerin Hospital, uh, one of the COVID assessment centers. Can you gauge just how long that lineup is already at this time, 8.13 in the morning? Yeah, our camera was here about 7.30 and it was much shorter than this. And then just within the half hour, uh, you know, that we've been here, we've seen the line uh, really start to grow. And it's hard to tell because they've kind of created these, this sort of windy uh, lineup. Maybe Bert can show you over here on the side. Oh, wow. But, um, I'm not sure actually what time this, this uh, assessment center even opens. It may only open at around 9 o'clock. Um, but oh, no, it looks like they're moving. So hopefully these folks uh, won't be waiting too long. Oh, wow. Yeah, we continue to watch these lines and hopefully uh, with the pharmacy roll up, maybe it'll cut down with the changes with asymptomatic uh, patients as well. Uh, Janella, appreciate your time. Thank you. And you can catch your full report tonight on City News. Right now, we're talking entertainment with Dina and Devo. You are watching the latest from Jennifer Lopez and